good afternoon. It's Dr. Angela. It's a beautiful day in Southern California, and we're on today with top five tips for chiropractic care during pregnancy. So this is such a wonderful time in a woman's life. Pregnancy is one of those times where I know I just felt like a miracle was occurring inside my body. It was one of the most beautiful times of my life. And it is for many women, and but then also there could be these little glitches that come along. And so these top five are kind of like the few glitches that can happen that start to make a mom's pregnancy a little more stressful. And one of the things we want to do is keep the stress level low on mom. We used to believe that cortisol and those stress hormones didn't pass through the placental barrier, but now we know that they do. And we know that babies respond to the cortisol level that's in mom. So part of the idea behind these top five is to keep the cortisol level down in mom, make the pregnancy and the experience a beautiful thing, allow that mom's nervous system to be in growth and repair and rest, that parasympathetic, that brake pedal, that slow down mode where the best growth happens. All right, so top five, I'm gonna do a countdown five to four kind of letterman style. So fifth one, and I've got some notes here. So fifth one is that chiropractic care may reduce something called dyspepsia. So moms know when baby gets to be kind of big that the stomach and the intestines are moved up a little bit to make room for the growing uterus. And so that can cause heartburn. So dyspepsia, kind of another name for heartburn and that burning sensation. Sometimes as baby gets larger, then mom's stomach has a different capacity and so we can't eat the kind of meals. But this is an important time for mom to be able to eat good nourishing meals and be able to get enough food in her to sustain her life and baby's life too. And actually heartburn is one of the more common things that happen late in the pregnancy. And there's research. So everything I have in this one, I have research that backs up the point of view that I'm presenting to you. A lot of this research is available on PubMed, and then some of it is also available on icpaforkids.org uh, website. So two good places to get some literature from. So there was a study done on uh, women that were experiencing dyspepsia and then chiropractic care. And so how does that happen? Well, with chiropractic care, baby's position in the pelvis of the mom can be optimal. And if that's true and her pelvis is a perfect place for baby, then there's just a hair more space for the internal organs of mom. Some of us have seen that there's a video going around on Facebook that kind of shows over the 40 weeks how the baby grows and when, where mom's stomach goes kind of pushed up and away from the uterus. And that's what helps to cause that heartburn sensation. So if mom's pelvis is very symmetrical and the ligaments are good, the sacroiliac joints are nice and flexible on both sides, then baby takes a slightly different position and it takes a little pressure off the stomach. So moms that have had heartburn during pregnancy, I encourage you to go check with your chiropractor, find out what can be done to help reduce those symptoms, especially late in the pregnancy time. All right, so that's number five. Number four is optimal position of baby. So baby is growing inside, and in the beginning, baby and the uterus are very small, about the size of a pear or so. But as time grows, then the uterus gets to be almost as big as a watermelon, right? So that's a lot of room that mom's body has to accommodate and figure out. So optimal positioning of the baby. Webster analysis is this super gentle analysis and then super gentle adjustment of the spine. And it's designed to keep those sacroiliac joints loose and flexible. So everybody knows if you've seen somebody on the back side, we've got kind of two little dimples right by our bathing suit line. And those two little dimples are right about where your sacroiliac joints are. And those are flexibility. If you can imagine that your sacrum is between and here's your two pelvic bones. And so those sacroiliac joints are moving each time we walk, they're rocking something like that. So if one joint is rocking really well and the other one isn't, then when mom's walking or sitting or even lying down, 
then one joint is moving well and the other one that's not creates an imbalance in mom's pelvis. So Webster analysis is a specific analysis while the mom's lying face down. We've got these cool pillows and tables so that moms can lie face down all the way, all the way through 40 weeks and plus. And so as a, as a woman's lying face down, then it's a super gentle uh, analysis of the sacral joints and then just releasing that restriction, super gentle, even more gentle for women who have been adjusted when they're not pregnant. This pregnancy adjustment Webster technique is super gentle. It's, it's even more gentle than a regular adjustment for, for somebody's low back. So number four is optimal fetal positioning, optimal position of the baby inside your pelvis. Because remember that uterus is sitting in the middle of the pelvis and it's got ligaments that are attaching the uterus to the pelvis and then joints that are moving mama's spine all the way around. So number four, optimal baby positioning. Number three is actually probably the one that's most common in my office is decreasing low back pain for pregnant mamas. So there was a study done, 862 women, and this was actually an orthopedic doctor physical assessment of these women. And what primarily showed up was sacroiliac joint dysfunction. So same thing we were talking about before with the positioning. Sacral joints and the pelvic bones of mom are designed to move equally on both sides. And what this study showed of 862 women was that most often, if the moms had lower back pain, there was some dysfunction of those sacral iliac joints down low in the back. And once we know from a chiropractic standpoint, once that sacral iliac joint is restored to a better motion than mama's pain, many mama's pains go away right away, if not within a week or two. And as soon as that pelvis starts to move symmetrically, mom can take a walk and things get a whole lot better. So third reason to get chiropractic care when you're pregnant is to decrease lower back pain. Second reason, number two, we're counting down from number five was dyspepsia. So five was heartburn. Chiropractic care can help decrease the symptoms of heartburn while you're pregnant. Number four was optimal position of baby. And then number three was decreasing lower back pain. So number two is comfort of the most important person in this equation is the mama. So maternal comfort, sleeping. So there was a couple papers done, one specifically where it measured mom's comfort. This was an analysis done. Most moms started about 25 weeks under care and they were given a, an analysis, a questionnaire to fill out about how comfortable they were. And the three main ones that were picked up on were fatigue. So what if mom's not sleeping really well and then she's got some fatigue during the day? her sleep, how well she's sleeping at night. And then the third one was social roles. So when mom's not comfortable, imagine taking care of your older children or imagine going to work. These are things that all of a sudden become just a little bit too much to handle at the same time and they can raise that cortisol level. Remember, we wanna keep that cortisol level down as much as possible in mom. So this study, of maternal comfort studied fatigue and the moms reported decreased fatigue, better sleep, and then better activity in their social roles as they were going through their pregnancy. So number two reason to get chiropractic care during pregnancy is maternal comfort. Comfort of the mom, keeping her comfortable, active, going to work if she needs to, staying home with the kiddos and, and chasing around toddlers if we need to, or even older ones. All right, so now we come to our number one reason for chiropractic care during pregnancy, right? The whole idea of pregnancy is to get mom and baby successfully to the point where we have this easy birth. So easy labor and birth is my number one reason for chiropractic care during pregnancy. There was, we're all aware of these statistics uh, for cesarean section. And thank goodness, we are in San Diego area. Escondido is a suburb of San Diego. And so our big hospital here, Sharp, they actually have for 2015 to 2016, some better statistics. And so 20 Sharp did a, a, a article and in 2016, 
there there's a number a number called NTSV. It's a it's the most accurate number for monitoring number of cesarean section births. So these are first time moms and these moms are at term which is 37 weeks or more and then they have a vertex. They have a baby that is in the head down and ready position. And so this number went from 32% in 2015 to 27% in 2016. And I didn't have available numbers for 2017. Maybe they're still calculating. But that's a great decrease. So what is that? Maybe almost a 5% decrease in this NTSV number, which is first-time moms basically with a head town baby having a cesarean birth. And this is wonderful. And this is where we know there is a lot of research available, especially on the ICPA website, that shows that chiropractic care during pregnancy helps moms to have easier, shorter labors, easier on mom, easier on baby, and the ability of mom to go through the normal stages of labor and then end up having a vaginal birth, which is the goal, one of the goals, right? The goal is to have a healthy mom, healthy baby. And then if we can, they, we know there's benefits to a vaginal birth, not only for the cranium, but also for the lungs and the thoracic spine. We know there are some benefits there. And so we want to help moms have this normal vaginal birth if it's at all possible. But remembering too, we want to keep everybody safe. Safe babies, Healthy mamas, healthy babies, that's the whole idea. And chiropractic care throughout your pregnancy can help your baby have, can help you as a mom have an easier labor and maybe uh, safer, shorter, these kind of things. All right, so I'm going to go through the top five again. So top five was, number five was reducing heartburn during pregnancy. Number four was the positioning of baby. And number three was decreasing that lower back pain in mom, keeping her super comfortable. Number two reason to have chiropractic care during pregnancy is for mama's comfort, for, for mom to be able to do her thing, work, exercise, take care of the little ones, and, and have an awesome pregnancy. And number one, Reason is to have an easier labor and more often have a vaginal birth if that's what mom's looking for. Hey, I see some people on here. Thank you so much, Callie, for tuning in. Chiropractic school is going to be awesome. Woohoo! Looking forward to it. So, hey, if you know a mom who is in a pregnancy and maybe not as comfortable as she wants to, have her check with your own chiropractor or if she's in this area, we're happy to check with her and find out if there's any way that we can help. We have easy, gentle techniques and easy ways of checking mom so that she's super comfortable and her pregnancy can get just a little bit easier. Hey, love and appreciate you guys. Have a beautiful day.